Ich bin Mark. Ich bin I'm Mark. I'm 45 years old and I survived a severe COVID-19 infection. So überlebt. Man merkt einfach, dass das You realize just how vulnerable life is. That you really have no control. Dass man es einfach nicht in der Hand hat. That from one day to the next, it can all be over. In order to keep me alive, every treatment that was available had to be used. And without each one of them, I might not be here. Jetzt halt vielleicht nicht mehr gereicht. Rainer in North Rhine-Westphalia, Germany. General Practitioner Mark was a patient in the first wave of the pandemic. After he became infected with COVID-19 in his own practice in March 2020. Am Anfang äh, merkte ich zwar klar, ich, ne, ich At the beginning I noticed, of course, that I did feel weak. I did feel sick. But at the time I didn't take it very seriously. Dann gesagt, okay, komm, ein paar Tage liegen. I thought, okay, come on. A few days in bed and you'll get through this. And uh, yes, then it became increasingly harder to breathe. I couldn't get up to my bedroom because I couldn't climb the stairs. And then I said, guys, I can't cope any longer. I have to call an ambulance. Initially, Mark was treated as an inpatient. There wasn't sufficient oxygen in his blood. Even with the administration of oxygen, his condition was deteriorating. It soon became clear that he needed to be transferred to the intensive care unit. The fact that I'm a doctor had relatively little impact. In this moment, you're a patient, you're not a doctor. Then they said to me, okay, I think it's better if we put you on a ventilator now. So that means we have to anesthetize you, you'll be fully sedated, and then you'll be ventilated. Even with full support on mechanical ventilation, it wasn't enough. An inflammatory cytokine storm was wreaking havoc on his lungs. There was one last treatment option available to save Mark's lungs and, with them, his life. He was emergently transferred to an anesthesiological intensive care unit and started on blood purification with Cytosorb to stabilize his circulation and to clear the cytokine storm to allow his lungs to heal. He was also started on extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, or ECMO, to oxygenate his blood to keep him alive. He wasn't aware of any of this. Actually, it was just a matter of keeping me alive and hoping that my lungs would recover enough in the meantime to allow me to breathe again. Then, finally, after cytosorb therapy and three weeks on ECMO, Mark was brought out of the artificial coma. The first thing I remember was being asked who I was. I could barely move. My left side was practically paralyzed. I basically couldn't move anything. I was a mental wreck for about seven to ten days after. The physicians succeeded in saving Mark's life. According to the doctors, Cytosorb played a decisive role. Ich weiß einfach nur, dass der I just know that the head of the ICU basically said that he was glad to have had this option, because otherwise it might not have been enough to get me through until my body was functioning well enough on its own to keep me alive. I'm glad that I'm still alive. Every possible treatment had to be used to keep me alive. Without the cytosorb treatment, it just might not have been enough.